guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Runa and today I am going to be testing out the Fenty Concealer. It is kind of like a viral product. I have got so many requests from you guys to test out this concealer. I think it's my first time or my second time testing out a concealer. I do do foundation Fridays on my channel so concealer fri like concealer <laughs> Concealer Fridays can work out too, but anyways, um, I wanted to go ahead and test out the Fenty Concealer. I have it somewhere over here. Test out the Fenty Concealer right here. I have this in 310. So if you guys like concealer reviews, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below. And also, if you are already subscribed, turn on the notification, the bell button, and it'll let you know when your girl uploads a new video. So let's go ahead and start exploring the Fenty Concealer Right now, I'm going to go ahead and put up a screen up and you guys can follow me on Sephora.com because I think Fenty is only sold at Sephora. So let's go ahead and test out what this concealer exactly does. So it's the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Who loves Ri Ri? I love Ri Ri. It's the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. Um, it comes with tons of colors, you guys. Look at all of those colors. Those are a lot of colors. So it comes with all those colors, you guys. There's 50 colors, which is pretty amazing. I am the shade 310. So I'm the shade 310. It's from medium to tan skin with warm yellow undertones. I initially wanted three, 300, but they were sold out at the Sephora I went to. I am gonna give a little vlog clip right here as I go explore the Sephora um, I grabbed my, you know, my Fenty concealer at the Sephora setup. I thought that would be fun to share with you guys. A little bit of a vlog clip. I think I'm gonna go with 330. That's usually my color. 30 shade. I think I'm gonna go with shade lighter. So this is. 310 and um, 310 looks like that. I think I'm gonna go with 310 and see how it goes. Or should I go with 330? It has four stars and 413 reviews, so I'm very excited to see. It's a, what it is, it's a creamy longwear crease proof liquid concealer with light as air, medium to full coverage that brightens under eyes and conceals blemishes and rednesses. It's a full coverage, it's sweat resistant formula, it's groundbreaking range of 50 easy to shop, soft matte, so it's a soft matte range, each designed to pair with your pro filter foundation. Start with your pro filter foundation and adjust from there. Okay, so that's just like details. Um, how to use. So they even give you Rihanna's way. When brightening under eyes, let Pro Filter Concealer dry completely before setting with Pro Filter. Okay, so I guess you do need to use setting powder. When I initially tried it on, I didn't think you needed setting powder, so I didn't put any setting powder on. But I guess we'll try it out without the setting powder and still test it out. The foundation is, I mean not the foundation, the concealer is $26. I do think that's a little bit pricier than the average concealer, but I mean, Let's go ahead and test it out. Is it great? Is it not? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys clips of me trying this on and give you my opinions, my first impressions as it goes on to my uh, face. And then, let's go. So I got the shade 310 and I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. So, okay, this is a little too light for me but you guys already know. I like my concealer super light. It glides on really nice. I can already see the coverage is really nice. I'm not a huge fan of the applicator. Um, I kind of like as thick as this is, I was preferring more of a thicker applicator. I don't know, it's just a little too flimsy, the applicator. But I do love how this formula just glides onto my skin and I do like that. I guess I kind of get where she's coming from with the applicator. She made it really thin. So that's the applicator you guys. Right there. 
Okay, so that is 310 on me. I don't think the color looks that bad. The consistency is really, really creamy and nice. I just want to make sure this doesn't crease and it lasts me all day. So I'm going to go in with my, this is my Morphe G2 brush. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to blend everything out. And right now I can tell you, oh, this blends nice. Okay. You guys, I love how this blended out. Oh my God, it blends out so seamlessly. Ooh. I love how smooth my eyes look. Like I love, like my under eyes look smooth. No emphasis on texture. Almost like it filled in my lines. Almost like it filled in my lines. It looks really good. Wow. And it doesn't dry super fast. It takes a minute to dry. So that's not a bad thing because then it actually gives you time. I really don't like concealers that dry too fast because then it doesn't give me time to blend enough. And I feel like this one dries just, like the timing is just right with this one. And I actually like how this one dries. I really like how the Fenty concealer looks underneath my eyes. It's actually nice and smooth. The color is really, really nice. It just blended in, just like, I mean, it just blended in real smooth. It was like butter. It just, it's really hydrating. I have really dry skin, so my under eyes are really dry. I just have dry skin, so it look, feels very hydrating. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It almost feels like I don't have anything underneath my eyes. Like, it feels really, really good. The only thing that I'll say, it does have a little bit of a powder vibe to it, but I think it does dry down to powder. But it does have like a powdery like finishing to it. I'm gonna wear this the whole day and then I'm gonna give you guys what I think in the end. Should you purchase the Fenty Beauty or should you not? What do I think? Now always remember my reviews are very personal based. So they're just based on my experience, based on what I like, based on my taste. I give you pros and cons. I give you recommendations. I tell you a lot about the <laughs> the product so it's not always like just what I think so if you've tested this out already and there's things about Fenty concealer that you like don't forget to comment it all down below and let me know because maybe like I'm using it wrong or maybe I put on too much or whatever you think just go ahead and comment down below it's a community we talk about makeup we talk about our finds like I want to learn from you guys too so always just let me know your opinions down below. So I'm gonna go finish my face. and Okay guys, so I have the concealer on. This is my full face. I'm gonna go wear this concealer all day and then I'm gonna come back and let you guys know how or what I think about this concealer. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you the Fenty concealer in like daylight. And if you see, it looks really good. Like, I mean, that looks, I like it. I really like how it looks. I've had it on for like about an hour. There's a little bit of creasing, like just a little bit of creasing right there. But that happens with almost every concealer I use. I think that's just my face. Um, but uh, so far, I really like how it looks. I like how comfortable it is to wear. I definitely want to compare it to like one of my favorite concealers, which is the Makeup Face Concealer or the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, but this is, this is my jam. I really like it. Let me just, yes. Hey guys, so I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day and then let's see.